North Africa has been on the newsreel screen almost continuously for three years. South Africa comes in seldom. So this is a welcome reminder of what the Union is doing for the Allies, appropriately following the tremendous victory in the election by our great friend Field Marshal Smuts. The Prime Minister of South Africa has carried the people with him in a landslide of loyalty to our joint cause. This was a parade to the call of Unite for Victory, held on the race course in Johannesburg. The procession started in the manner of 40 years ago, the years of the South African War, the Boer Commanders. There is the atmosphere of diamond mines outspanning on the felt and lonely treks. But it has become symbolic of what South Africa stands for today, a mighty ally within the Empire. was a danger that if Smuts and his government had lost the election, South Africa would have passed out of the war. Those who have known the gallantry of her soldiers, sailors and airmen, those who have fought with them in the campaigns from Ethiopia to Libya, know what grand fighting men they are. They played their part in the downfall of the Italian African Empire. And you stand in wonder at the growth of South Africa's power when you learn that this single parade is larger than the whole of South Africa's army before the war. People of the United Kingdom that we call the British Isles have made many mistakes, but with a sure touch of genius, we made no mistakes when we chose our friends. Let us never cease to be grateful for these friends who did not desert us in the days of our need.